DJ, who is the guy you patterned your game after? Great question, man. I'm a, I'm a student of the game. I don't really just look at one guy. So I look at LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, Michael Jordan, uh, Scottie Pippen, Steve Nash. I mean, even outside of basketball. I look at dudes like Floyd Mayweather for boxing. I mean, Roger Federer. His sense of balance is crazy, man. You know, I'm always doing things that'll just give me an edge. What's up guys, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is an app where you guys can buy tickets to music, sports, or comedy events. They even score each ticket to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad deal, which makes buying tickets much more simple. They even allow you to see the view from where you're going to sit before you purchase the tickets. If you guys want $20 off of your first order, make sure you guys click the link in the description, sign up, and use the promo code KINGCARTER once you download the app. Yeah. Now that that's over guys, I want to welcome you to a new video. Today I wanted to show you guys a few different cutscenes as well as a conspiracy theory about the Michael Jordan golf tournament. Now I haven't really seen too many videos on this, but if anybody has been invited to the Michael Jordan golf tournament that they've been talking about in my career so much, I need you guys to put inside the comment section how you did it, how you went about it. And also today I will be playing with Barry from GMG as well as Two Girls One Kevin, AKA Dominican Goon. Now these cutscenes are gonna be with Damian Lillard and Shammy. And I just feel like I've been played like a fiddle since the beginning of the season. But let's go ahead and hop into the cutscene. Hey Sham, I'm right. Yo, Dane Dollar, baby, what's good? What's up, Rook? Man, Sham came through, man. Yeah, man, just in here messing around a little bit, you know. Hey, I'm trying to get up on one of those songs, bro. Hey, Rook. You know, hey, this the studio you rented out? What's up, baby? Hey, what's good, oh, man? Oh, D-Lil, what's happening? What's up, with you? What's up, man? Y'all introduce yourselves yeah, to each other man. already? Yeah, we just met. He hey, said he's messing around. Hey, this my boy, man. You know I played in uh, Portland with this dude. Yeah, I know. Hey, you go to that block party that uh, Marshawn Lynch threw I didn't even make it, man. Why not, man? I just couldn't be there. I'm happy home, though. Yeah, hey, I'm happy to see you, boy. Y'all missing me out there in Portland. A little huh? bit, man. Just a little bit. Right. Hey, this right here, man, this my rookie, though, Lil. Hey, he into the beatboxing, man. He yeah, let you, know, you hear man. anything yet? Man, you let me hear nothing, man. Let me let me hear What's something. Up? Ready? Come on, man. Rook, you supposed to do that. D D F D J. Uh. Hey. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. That's smooth, huh? Like that. Hey. Hey, let me add the key. Ding ding ding. ding. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Uh. Mm. You see that? Start messing around. Mm. Oh, come on. You know I was doing a little bit in Portland. Come on. You don't remember the freestyles? He lying, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, he tends cool. to do that a lot. Hey, anyway, hey, if you ever get a chance, man, let's make a track or something. Dude, man. Hey, man, I would love that. Y'all more than welcome anytime. Man. JBL hooked me up with the best D equipment, man. Come you on man. by. You always come hey, through, baby. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice, nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, too, man. I told you I was going to come that's through. That's great, bro. man. Yeah, that's my boy. I appreciate you. All right, guys, so that was my first encounter with Damian Lillard. We ended up going to the JBL studio, which now I have full access to. You guys have seen in a couple of my videos, such as the uh, For the P Challenge and things like that, that I went to the JBL studio, you know, mess with the beats a little bit and stuff like that. But basically, the meat of that interaction, pause, is the fact that meeting Damian Lillard, Shammy was supposed to have set this up. Now, Shammy knows Damian Lillard because he recently played in Portland with him, which I had no knowledge of. Why did 2K not say, oh yeah, by the way, this guy has been on a previous team before? I'm thinking, okay, yeah, he's a vet, but maybe he's been with the Sixers his whole career. I don't even know how many years Shammy have, has been in the league. But basically, Shammy and Damian Lillard know each other, and they also know about the Michael Jordan golf tournament. Let's go to the next cutscene. Who's the first pick? Me, word is born in. Not a Christian Leitner, not Alonzo Mourning. That's okay, not being braggadocious. Super califragilist and check is out of docious. Peace, I gotta go. I ain't no joke. Hey, hold on, Shaq. Hold on, hold on. Hey, what up, Dane? What's good? Man, I hey. thought you only work with professionals, man. It's amateur hour over Shaq, here, bro. What's good, man? Neon food I heard that, DJ. Bar. Don't make me come in there. Oh, you left the... Hey, Shaq. I was playing, baby. Keep doing what you're doing, man. <laughs> Hey, hey, put him on mute real quick. We made this track. It's nice. Let me hear it. Oh, like that. Like that? Yeah, look, I got something for that. Ooh, okay. My life been a puzzle. Jigsaw. Ooh. I went from a puppy to a big dog. I can hear that, bro. I ain't just no run around, slick talk. Now I'm pulling strings, guitar. Hey, hey, hey that's it, bro. Yo. Pulling strings, guitar. That's, hey, that's fire, it, bro. Hey, that's you got it. Got that. 
Right. Pretty good, but mine was better. No, it wasn't. Don't lie, man. You need to stick to those commercials. <laughs> Let the hey. young cats do it. Hey, man, when you done with Shazam, holla at us, all right? Hey, I'm yeah. gonna send y'all those tracks. All right, please, cool, man, cool, please cool. Do. Can't wait all right. to see that next movie. <laughs> Why you lie to that man? <laughs> So, in my second encounter with Damian Lillard, Shammy was also there, and he was basically there trying to promote this track that I had for Damian Lillard. Now, if you guys don't know about Damian Lillard's rap career, those bars that he spit was definitely written, and they are already on the project. So, from what I'm seeing, Damian Lillard and Shammy are trying to play me right now. Play me for an effing fiddle, because I've been trying to figure out why in the heck I can't get into this Michael Jordan golf tournament and you guys are going to find out why in a second but I've been building many relationships in my career I've been texting people back being very cordial I've actually been answering the end of game uh, press conferences interviews with the correct answers to try to get my league fans up try to get my camaraderie up and I just need to know why let's find out hey D the new tracks, baby. Fire, man. Appreciate it. What's up, Rook? Hey, look, I heard you got invited to MJ's golf tournament. Of course I did. Come on, Of course man. you did, and I would like to be your guest. Your plus one. Plus one I'll where? Be. Plus one at the album release party. Oh, yeah? Yeah, He yeah. lying. Yeah. You know what he yeah. asking nah, He about, asking man. you about the MJ nah. tournament. It might have slipped yes, out, but I was, that really? was my main life. You still over here begging people? I'm not begging the man. I'm just asking hey, for a little bit Hey, but speaking of that MJ tournament, yeah. baby, you remember that? Party Crazy. last year with the zip line in? Man, Crazy. Hold on, hold on. I thought you was going to drown, though, B. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, you man. told me you could swim. Remember that? You go? Every year. And you heard me asking people and you didn't hook it up for your boy? Yeah, I heard you asking, but you ain't, you know, you haven't paved your way yet. Dirty. It'll take work to be able to get to this type of I've event. Been putting in See, work. he you think it's Shane. all easy. He think it's easy. You can ask that rookie stuff. Team, nah, that's that rookie yeah. stuff, man. Okay, man, it's time for Conspiracy Carter to get down to it. Now, if you guys remember the first time that I met Damian Lillard, him and Shammy talked about this so-called pool party that they were supposed to go to together, which means they darn near besties. Now, in the last encounter that I had with him before the game, he actually talked about zip lining and that he thought that Damian Lillard was going to drown and that he said that he thought he could swim. And I'm like... Darn, how, how much do you, you guys know about each other? Now, I did ask Damian Lillard, which I've asked many different NBA stars inside the league in different cutscenes about this Michael Jordan golf tournament. And Damian Lillard and Shammy just seemed like they was trying to play me because Shammy obviously knew that I was talking to everybody about it because I talked to him about it previously. And Shammy was like, oh, well, you know, it's something that, you know, you got to work for. And I'm like, okay, cool. But why when I'm trying to grease the wheels of those that be the elite in the nba shammy out here downplaying it not even telling me that he went the previous year and that he could possibly get me in i've asked so many people for a plus one in the nba and all of them have told me no this is an invite only you can't get a plus one but i've just been trying to get in there somehow some way and for them to just be talking about the last year event with zip lines and people about to drown i'm like this thing gotta be hella crazy it gotta be the craziest cutscene in nba 2k that we will ever see that i don't know about so i just need to know has anybody out there in the youtube sphere been able to get the michael jordan golf tournament cutscene endorsement screenshot anything I've asked multiple people. I thought that me and Damian Lillard relationship was genuine, in which it wasn't because I had a, a, my own objectives and Damian and Shami came out to play me. So please somebody tell me what's real. All right, guys, if you made it to this part of the video, make sure you guys put in the comment section, I made it. This is a very, very important part of the video. If you want to buff your stats as an NBA player in NBA 2K18, my career, some of you guys might know this, some of you might not, but I just wanted to shed light on it because it's been in the game for years and a lot of people do it. 
when you want to quit out of a game in the third quarter if you're up 10 or down 10 you can go to quit and ask to sit out for vc once the splash screen comes up after you click yes and immediately after you want to spam the options button on your controller and then keep doing that until you acquire those stats and after you feel like you've made it to a good point some people have even scored 300 400 500 points in a game you can do that and then just simply hit quit ask for vc click yes and don't hit anything and it'll sim the game out now one big thing about that a lot of people thought you could badge hunt and everything like that you cannot do that when you're actually doing the little glitch for options and spamming and stuff so if you think you're about to badge hunt and get more badge uh grind success that's not the case you're just buffing your stats inside of my career now i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed this little funny storyline that i put together for you guys i got plenty more coming for you guys even a video about my new girlfriend if you guys want to check out that video about my new girlfriend make sure you guys spam with that like button let's aim for 5,000 likes on this video man but we came out with the w me two girls one kevin out here just trolling right now but i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on notifications this is ikc signing out hey it's kenny just another superb showing from you. Now, what's been the major key to keep producing at such a high level? Kenny, you know, I think it's just been watching film and, and uh, learning where I can be better at each game. And I think it's important not to feel satisfied with your game. And as long as you improve and keep adding to your skill set, it'll work out. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that I put a lot of work into this team and it's, it's made it more dangerous as a result. Well, they don't want you to win, and you won. Major kick.